Tommy Sheridan was convicted last year, sentenced in January to six months. The News of the World reported he attended swingers parties. He sued them successfully. He was then taken to court for lying in court during that orig uh, original trial. Now, during Sheridan's trial, uh, there were a number of witnesses from the News of the World, Andy Coulson among them, and also the Scottish editor, Bob Burt. Now, Sheridan's lawyers have said that his conviction was unsound for a number of reasons, but they specifically pointed to Andy Coulson's evidence. He said during the trial that he had no knowledge of illegal payments to police officers for stories. Now, that conflicts with recent reports that emails indicate that he did indeed have knowledge of these alleged payments. So Sheridan's lawyers are saying, look, take a look at this man's evidence, get the police to question him because we believe that he may have committed perjury. In terms of Bob Bird, and it is a complicated story, Colin, Bob Bird, that all relates to emails during the trial which he said had disappeared. News of the World emails that had been archived in Mumbai and gone missing. It subsequently emerged that these emails wanted by the lawyers for Sheridan are actually stored in a warehouse in London. So many questions for Sheridan's lawyers surrounding that trial. Now the Crown Office are getting involved, making preliminary inquiries, but I suppose that's the first step on a road, ultimately, that will lead to the questioning, I would imagine, of Andy Coulson and others. And, of course, it all gets fairly serious or could get very serious after that.